I'm Alex. And I'm Taylor. And we're from the Degrassi Experience. And today we're here to pay homage to our lovely Degrassi boys. Our favorites. The first boy that we would like to pay respect to is Sean Cameron. Um, Sean was one of the original Degrassi bad boys. He's a bit of a bit of a history. Dated Emma Nelson, was in love with her. That didn't work out. It could have, but it did. I think Sean deserved someone. I miss him. Sean was a good character. There was a lot of ups and downs for Sean. Not that he was off the beaten path. It was, it was an up and down journey for me with Sean. We can't always get what we want. That didn't happen. That did not happen. Emma no. Mason. No. Emma Cameron. I could that's take a, it. That's I a nice ring. It. it is a nice There's ring. There's a nice ring to that name. Yes. I'm... So since we're talking about Sean, I'd like to switch over to another Degrassi boy who we think is sort of a parallel to Sean's character, and that's KC. Oh, yeah. Yes, so we kind so of much. viewed KC as the new Sean. Comes from a, you know, bad background. Mom in jail, living in a group home. Now finally lives with his mom and gets with the good girl. Claire Edwards, of course. Of course. He is a nice, uh, a new addition to the show as, as far as the new sort of bad boy character. And also, we we really love Sam Earl. We'd like to give a shout out to Sam Earl. To the Smurl. I love him so much. Oh, You are hilarious. Your tweets make our lives. I die. Your humor is amazing. So, thank you. He skipped out on Claire, but whatever, she's fine. Right. She's good. <laughs> she, she bounced she's back. She's totally okay. But I think it's nice that we saw that Casey and Jenna are back together and that he's good. supportive of the pregnancy. Yes. That's where we are right now with KC. Uh, while we're on the subject of bad boys, we then have Jay. Jay Hogarth. He is my favorite Degrassi boy, possibly of all time. I don't know what it is about him, but I really love Jay. He's a good one. He means he gave Emma gonorrhea. <laughs> That's a great one. <gasps> yes. Uh, he was massaging an old woman's foot to get her into school. You are a beautiful man. He's a good guy. I just have to say. He's a good oh. guy. For a while, you weren't such a good guy. But it's alright. <laughs> but it's okay now. Hello. Wait a second. This is a really great character, and Michael Bell is really awesome. So we're gonna give him more to do. Good call. The next bad boy of Degrassi we have for you is Fitz, played by James E. Campbell. Look. Uh, uh there's now a verb <laughs> to be fitzed. I mean, I don't think it actually means to get stabbed. It's I... a fake stabbing. Right. If you so, fake out somebody, you've been fit. I'd be getting stabbed, but not really. Okay. Fitz, you did show your softer side with Aislinn. I liked that. In it all, all Falls Down. It was like you were nice, but then you weren't because you were like, get out my way, stab. Right. But you are a cute boy. Good for you. We see you. So our next boy of Degrassi is Eli. Elijah. Oh my! Boys and girls. Girls. You already know. Like, what? what is there? My opinion, I think this is one of the best characters that Degrassi has brought to us in a while. And he's one of the five new additions of season 10. And yeah, he's just got a lot of background, a lot of history, a lot of this and that, back and forth. <laughs> to and fro. You <laughs> yeah, know. you know. Oh. And uh, He's a hoarder. He's a hoarder. We love it. So there's something going on there we don't know yet. Some crazy I'm stuff. I'm a little terrified, but I'm not going to talk about it. No. <laughs> Can't let it get to us. Um, <laughs> oh, gosh. He's he's a lovely boy. But, yeah. And we have um, we have an emoticon that we've made. You know the little, when you, like, type to somebody, it's got eyes and it's got, like, a slanty face? Okay. That is now the Eli smirk. A.K.A. It, the Monroe Chambers basically smirk. Basically the Monroe Because basically his mouth is just, like, it, all like, the time. Like that, but it's just good. crooked. It's just so good. But we're okay with that. We're so okay with we that. We appreciate you. Yes. A lot. Now when I type that, I can't really say that I'm kind of half sad. I'm kind of smirking. Like and a Monroe smirk. It's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. Um, yeah. We see you. We definitely see you. So, our next boy that we'd like to appreciate is Spinner, aka Gavin. I love him. I love 
Spinner. Are so we ranking? Much. Are we ranking? Well, no, but well, I'm ranking. There's for an rank. A. I can rank. Whew. I can no, That's I can rank too, me. but I think most people would be like shocked at my ranking. Yeah. You guys, let us know how you rank your fave Degrassi boys. Yes. We're just curious to know. We would love to talk about it. Yeah. This is a big topic. Big, big topic. Oh, I love him. Definitely he's, my second fave. He's been a sweetheart for such a long time. He's gotten with a lot of girls. Harry, Paige. Yeah. Good for you. Manny. There, you you got a lot of girls, but Darcy. you know what? It's because you were awesome. You were, he's just, he's so cute. And he was the drummer in the band, in downtown Sasquatch. And he has uh, that like little speech impediment that I've always been like, what, what, what is, is wrong it? with you? But, but I'm okay so with good. it. I'm okay with it. Oh, it, it makes him spinner. So go spinner. Go Gavin, go spinner. The oh. next the next boy that we'd like to appreciate is Declan Coyne, Ooh. aka Landon something. <laughs> I know it's like Landon Le- No, it's 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 Landon L. Okay. Whatever. So Declan, so you softened up and you developed a relationship with Hallie J. You got really cool. And we were actually watching a clip of Declan before and it's <laughs> when he was <laughs> Swagglish is better there. Um, it's when... And his face is so oh, cute. It's like his eyes are like glimmering with tears. It's when he's going to tell Holly J that the kiss with his sister didn't mean anything. And she's like, this is your last chance. And he was just like... <gasps> and I was like... He's so cute. <gasps> Let us know. Like, Gosh. do you guys prefer Dolly J or... What do um, you... Sav and Holly J? Solly J? Like, I don't even know what to call them. Holly J or Dolly J? Let us know. We'd love to hear. Next Degrassi boy that we have is Adam. Of course. Love this character. This is also <sighs> one of, like, the best characters Degrassi has ever brought to the show. Adam Torres. You're oh. noble. You're awesome. You're not afraid to be yourself. Yes. Or in the words of Eli, missing a few parts never stopped you before. Exactly. A. So I, good. And, and Jordan taught us oh. Just... And you're gorgeous. Y- you're fit. How do you pull it off? How are you a cherub... I don't know. And playing transgender, I don't know. You're it's amazing. Just, yeah, basically. We'd like to take a moment to give a shout out to Chester. Where'd you go? I miss you so. Who was a like couple episode better. running character. You For like a minute. You, um, Stephen Stone was like, um, what about Chester? And I was like, Oh, yeah. Very true. Even, I, I tweeted some people and I was like, retweet if you know who Chester was on Degrassi and nobody knows. <laughs> so, you remember. Just, just take yourself back. Yeah. Really, 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 what's the word I want? Oh my god. What's the word I want? Mi- no, no. Like, what are you trying to say? Minor role. No, 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 no. <laughs> anyway, Chester, I feel for you. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Oh, the next character we have to... We've already, like, paid so much respect to him. But he needs more. But JT. He's so... Oh, poor, he, from humble beginnings, as as the scrawny, little, nerdy, kind of class clowny boy... And all the girls say I'm pretty fly. Oh, my God. He, growing up into this, like, really adorable guy. I wish we could have seen you grow. <sighs> Our friend... Doc mm-hmm. Bowser's oh, blog, okay. um, DJ General, who does the interviews for Carrie's Degrassi blog, um, interviewed Stephen Stone, and he had, had asked Stephen, what would you have foreseen for JT's future if he wouldn't have died on the show? Definitely would have seen him marrying Liberty. He thinks he would have been like a really great father figure. I I'm cr- Like, I'm crying. Oh my gosh. I love oh. him so much. Like, do you see what I'm having? <laughs> you need to stop. It's so true, You're though. So good. This is like, what I am right uh, now. Like, Stephen Stone, you killed uh, me with that statement. Well, I, I have to let the people know, like, what know. an amazing character this was. He was, so, you grew with him. I watched him when I was so young. And then, like, he grew up and he went through all this terrible stuff. And then he gets stabbed. I'm like, how? Would have loved to see you grow. Would have loved it. So, since I'm a mess. Oh, JT. We'll move on. To his biffle, Toby. I love Toby. Toby's a good guy. He had a crush on Emma for such a long time. I was like, give it up, Toby. Go to somebody else. Liberty gave birth 
or was going to give birth in his his boobies car because he's like not in my boobies car. It's just he was so funny, and then he comes back and he's like the host of the robot wars that the school goes to. I was like, there yeah, he is. That was- he's, he's starting the panther dance to you know see cringeworthy moments part two for that one. Being like that go to guy for JT and for Liberty, and it's just oh. Yeah. He, he went through so much sadness. He was the first guy that really, they showed on the show that had, like, an eating disorder, which was kind of, you know. That was a big deal. That was a big deal. But also, he was cray-cray, and then JT dies, and I'm like, Toby. Oh, Toby. Yeah. So, and, oh, and your girlfriend disappeared into the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> Sorry to hear about that. Hey, Kendra, Hi. what's up? Where are you? Next boy of Degrassi is Connor. I personally really, really love AJ Soudin. I think he's a great actor. And it's it's so interesting to see somebody pl- take on a role of playing an Asperger's child. He's a great actor. And he's I think he's very different from his character. And I think that's what makes the best actors. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Connor's another character that we've really, like, seen grow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hasn't really had any lady action. No. We need to get him somewhere. Yeah, you definitely do. And you know what? I always forget how cute he is. Yeah. Because, like, you know, you get caught up in the fact that he's playing someone who has, you know... Well, you get caught up in the Eli of it all. Wow, that's true. You know, it happens. That kind of... Just saying. But, like, yes, you are very cute. Yeah. Good for him. He needs a lady friend. He does. He and needs a lady not friend. the one on the scary like no, video game. Run away from the large woman on the computer. <laughs> he's a scary. <laughs> He's so scary. We love Connor. Go Connor. Yeah. I just have to say this, like, just watching him grow on the show, and it's sort of, like, funny, because it seems like his character's condition is also sort of evening out as he gets older. Like, it's still there, but he's much more controlled. So he sort of has these, like, funny one-liners that are, like, socially incorrect right. statements, <laughs> and you're just like, <laughs> oh, Connor. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Oh, our next boy of Degrassi is Marco. I love Marco. Great character. So sweet and, like, hilarious. I tracked his character from the very beginning. Like, I loved Marco. I used to have such a huge crush on him. Adama Rogero, when I found out that Adama Rogero was gay, I was very upset because I thought I had a chance <laughs> with him. I don't know why I would think that. I met him at an autograph signing. He's a very nice human being, and he's even cuter in person. So I just want to Mar- put him in my pocket. Like, he pocket. could... First line in Degrassi was... She teaches piano spinner. He starts out as this tiny little character, builds up, and he has this relationship with Ellie. So much Marco, and I was I just loved it all. I like closure. I don't know if you've realized that, but we like closure we like, here. We were satisfied. Mm-hmm. The next boy of Degrassi that we would like to appreciate is Jimmy, aka Aubrey, Drake, Graham. The ladies of Degrassi who mess with Drizzy. Never ends well for them. No, his character on the grass, he was so just cute. Jimmy is one of those guys that would go in there, he would take care of her. Mm-hmm. He, he, he appreciates the girls with diplomas. The ones who get, <laughs> the ones who can loan Lonus. us a little bit of money. <laughs> if yeah. we should ever need it, that kind of stuff. You now Drake is like the biggest success to spin off of Degrassi. Right. So into yeah. his music career. And you got to see him rap a little bit on the show, and that mm-hmm. was pretty cool. Go and he Jimmy. also, he had the most physical change. I mean, he went from all-star basketball player. He had a nice ending. I was very satisfied with the satisfied. Jimmy ending. Yeah. Yay for a cute conclusion for Jimmy, because he deserved it. He was good a good ending. guy. We see so, you. <laughs> we definitely see you. Our last boy of Degrassi is Zane. Oh! We love Shannon. Um, he just is one of those people that I'm like, Oh my god, I really need to be your friend. Yeah, we, I want to learn from him. He seems so cultured and fun. Like, so, he's like, Hi, I'm from South Africa, and I'm Canadian. And I'm like, wow. How no cool are you? No gorgeous and fantastic. You and know? He, he just seems so smart and, like, wise. Mm-hmm. And I want to be his friend. He's, he's like, he's the best ever. Yeah. Because he is. He, he's one of the more sure of his sexuality type characters there are yeah. because this is a character that you know now and he's still like confident in himself and is able to kind of pull Riley out of his shell and I was like that's good yeah. I like your hair love your you are beautiful yeah you. we see you we definitely do ladies and some gentlemen those are our boys of Degrassi who we love oh so much if you have other boys of Degrassi that you think that we should mention or talk about in any sort of way, let us know. These were just some of our faves that we were thinking of at yeah. the moment. 
That's it. We love the boys. We do. We do. We see you. Boys, boys, boys.